I'm Sean, I'm with Doc Joe's Plumbing. We're here rescuing a homeowner who tried to repair his tankless water heater himself. As you can see, we got our work cut out for us. Let's do it. The exchanger and burn chamber. We fast forwarded and already assembled this, so we're gonna insert it in the body of the unit. Hard part's over, we're going to put all the electronics in and the gas valve, fan motor, and then check for leaks. Okay, right. next, uh, again, fast forwarding, we've already cleaned the fan motor out with the uh, air nozzle to make sure that all the debris and everything is free and clear. And then on these Takagi units, you have to slide your screwdriver to the bottom. Each screw having a specific spot to go to. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to install the igniter as we start to secure all the screws around and piece this guy back together. Again, each screw having a specific spot to go into. People always ask, why don't you use an electric screw gun? Well, manufacturers want you to do it by hand. So, now we're going to install the GFI and the circuit board. Making sure the ground wire is in the back there. Tighten the last two screws. We're almost there. We're connecting the igniter wire and the flame sensor wiring while placing one of the grounds on. Just a few more steps and we're ready to go. One more ground wire. Once again, fast forwarding, we have everything back together. Circuit boards in place, wiring's intact. Uh, we cheated and already bled all the air out of the water system, so we'll crack open the valve. You should be able to hear it. Light up like a champion. Well, the homeowner attempted to install the heat exchanger himself, so when we got here, everything was already torn apart. Working now. Okay.